Okay, here I am with another video that probably doesn't make a bit of sense, but my plan is to make um, more videos of just stuff I'm doing rather than to plan and, you know, I'm just going to do some. I'm gonna, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of washing tape right here, right here on my glass mirror because I have a real bad problem of coming out of frame. So if I know that my paper is right here to the edge of my, my um, washi tape, well, maybe my washi tape needs, well, it doesn't want to stick anyway. Okay, I'm going to try to do this. This may not work. But anyway, this is the paper I did dendritic painting on yesterday. And I've got quite a stack of these papers. And what these papers have is a lot of white space. Because I really wanted to, um, I did have a suggestion from one of my viewers as to put more paint on the glass and um, so that there didn't leave all this white space. And, and that is a great idea. And I did try to do some of that too. And like here, like even this one, I put more paint on the glass, but I still have um, sections of white. And so, but like these ones right here, I put them, those ones melded together. And after I play with it for a while, some more with different colors, I might be able to do something. Uh, but, but see, this takes my circles away and I do like the circles. I like the circles in the dendritic painting. So now what I want to do is I want to um, add more to my to my papers so that I can so that they're just different. So I'm going to um, use some stamps. I have some I have some stamps here in my drawer that let's see that are pretty much just stamps for spaces. I think that's all I have right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these stamps and, and I'll use different colors. And what I'm doing is just adding color in the open spaces of just different color without covering up much of my dendritic print. I, I, if you didn't see the, the video yesterday, it's um, this dendritic is done with two pieces of glass, which I used my glass mat as the one piece. And then I had a glass, another sheet of glass that I would just put over in order to get the paint smashed between the two pieces of glass and then um, pull the prints from what's left. And so I'm making this as just, it's going to be background prints for different things like maybe um, maybe in, in journal pages or, or whatever, making envelopes out of or something. But see, just filling in that white space with these um, variating. I, I use this here stamp a lot. It's just spots. I don't know where I got that one. And um, now this here piece was one of the last, because um, I pull and then pull and then pull. This is one of the last pulls in, uh, with a couple of them that I put on together. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to take a piece of my, um, my punchinella here and I'm going to use, let's see, I think I'll use, um, I think I need the lid to this. Oh, here it is. Okay. That was Victorian velvet I used on that one. But I think I want to get more of a, okay, I'm going to use this one here, the fossilized amber distress oxide. And I'm going to, um, I think that's what I've already got on this 
We must pounce your doohickey. And so on this one, I'm just going to go around to two spots that are white. And I'm just going to use that stencil, use the Punchinella stencil um, to just put spots in just on the white and see how that goes. You know what I was arranging my camera, trying to fix my camera there. I keep trying to fix my camera to get it in a better space. I realize now I'm kind of working like upside down. Yeah, upside down. And so by putting a little bit of color like that on there, then that makes it prettier. I like that. Look at this one. This one here is one that I did after the suggestion from the one viewer that said to put more um, more paint that it'll cover the paper a little bit more. And it did cover the paper much more. And um, let's see, what do I want to do with this one? I'm going to try something a little bit different. And I want to do... You know what? I think I want to find like a very light, a light blue. Let me see in my drawer here. What is this one? This one is Broken China. It's pretty, pretty light. I don't think I have a lighter one than that. Okay. And so I'm going to just use this one. And I'm going to use one of my brush, let's see, this one, I gotta redo my brushes, I mean, I gotta clean them, and so I'm just going to see what happens if I just brush a little color on the white, and, and yeah, I, see, now that, I am liking that a lot. And so that is just taking the white away. It's not, it's, it's just kind of subduing the white. I won't put, let's see, I don't think I will. I'm not going to put the blue, brush the blue background um, over the orange, I don't think. I think I'm going to let that one, let the white be behind the orange. And so that one looks good right there. That's just enough. That's just enough for me. Well, a little bit over on this. I do like it there. I could probably even go with maybe an orange. I wonder if I did. Oops, no, I don't want that. Let me see. I just saw orange in here. I think I did. Now I have orange. And that's pink. And that's blue. And that's pink. This is orange. Orange marmalade. Oh, spiced marmalade. Let me see. Do I have a. That's this one. Looks like that one's getting pretty worn to a frazzle. Let's see, I'm going to put, I'm going to put, let me see if I just put some orange. Probably going to come up with something other than orange because there's other color on these little brushes. And there's a purple hair. I wonder where that comes from. And so I'm going to just um, kind of. Put some orange behind the orange then okay I like that I like that look I'm just inking that orange back behind that orange I love that orange paint it's a neon orange and that's pretty that'll be a very pretty background on something I just did these on regular printer paper but if I wanted to make like a tag out of it and I wanted it heavier I would first glue the whole page onto a piece of cardstock
and then cut the tag out is what I would do with that. Now this one here has a lot of purple and this here purple paint on this one, when I did this one, um, I wiggled the glass some and um, and and it that's what I got out of it. I got, you know what I'm going to do with this one? I'm going to put this, use this here again and I'm going to Let's see. Let me see. I have a couple of these little makeup things or whatever they are. And I'm going to go ahead. I like the purple and orange um, coming for fall. I like adding the purple into my fall colors. I think that looks really nice. And, um, and Halloween. I don't do a lot of Halloween. Um, and it's not because I have anything against Halloween. It's just, um, I've just never been in for spooky stuff. So, but I like, like, um, the sugar skulls and things like that. And the colors, love the colors. And so, and I just love everything about fall and autumn. Now, see this? I'm liking this now, too. This is pretty. And um, just filling in them white spaces. Just just to kind of, you know, those of you that watched yesterday when I did the painting of these. And and then wondered what I would do. Because I, I said that I would probably do some kind of a mixed media um, to continue the work of these painty papers and and these painty papers I will use as as um, there's many things that I will be able to do with these for instance the um, on the front of a greeting card I might use a piece of one as just the background on the front of a greeting card or the background on a, on a page, on a journal page. And see there, then that's pretty. That's the orange and teal. And, um, and what do I want to use for a color? I think, let me try, um, what if I just go in there with some orange and use this uh, is another one of my the stamps are in horrid shape, the ones that I use the most. And I'm just going to run around on this one and use this. Yeah, my tape isn't doing very good. I can't remove it. Um, it's more in my way than keeping me in frame. And my, um, my Zentangle video I did yesterday was miserable out of frame. And um, I post them anyway. I just, I post them and I don't edit them or anything. I don't even watch them before I post them. I just post them. And because I don't know how to do all that editing. And there's too much other things to learn at this age than to try to learn editing. And so I'm trying to learn now, though. I am, I am trying to learn something. I'm trying to learn how to put, um, I kind of like this one. I'm trying to learn how to use my Etsy to put um, printables, digital prints up on my Etsy. And I've been watching a few videos to find out how, and I'm, I'm learning that I don't think it's going to be all that hard. But see, this is very pretty too. Because I think I've got some things that I, this one here I just printed on, on, on craft cardstock. Do I want to do some of this on here? Probably. Get some more color and the fan is blowing my hair and my eyes, I mean into my mouth. Hmm. And so here, just to just um, just add a little something. And so you don't really have to go to 
a lot of trouble to make your background prints mixed media sort of kind of thing. And then that's pretty. That's very pretty. Okay. Then this is another one that's the orange and the teal. I think I really liked that going down. And um, let's see. Let me put a, let me see. Let me see something that I think probably wouldn't go, and that's usually what goes well. I'm not real good at mixing colors. Let's see. I'm going to now use this. Let me see what goes. Oh, this is almost the same color teal as what's in there, which is kind of neat, you know? And I have a, a stamp here that's just, it's got like, alphabet letters kind of in there in a kind of a collage -y kind of a thing. And so I'm just going to add those in there in just various spots. And then what if I do, let me see, maybe I didn't leave a lot of space, but um, then if I go with these polka dots and put some of them here and there too. Make just just to make painty papers. I just want painty papers to use for other things. So just store them away in a sleeve and then I have them for when I need them. So, and that's very pretty. That's with the dendritic prints and just some stamping. Because I was saying yesterday that maybe I would go through with, um, with and tea dye maybe or something. But I don't know. I, I don't think. I don't think I want to do that right now. I just did a lot of tea dyeing, or not tea dyeing, I did coffee dyeing on papers. And I'm thinking I might try some dendritics. Uh, well, this one doesn't hardly even look like a dendritic, but it is. But it, but see, my always my first pull is always quite um, more is a lot more um, of the veining than a later on print. So if you didn't watch that one yesterday that I put up, um, did dendritic print trial, I think I named it. Um, and see, now that looks pretty. See that by putting in that, um, using the orange over the punchinella, that I think turned out real pretty. Now I gotta see what happens to this. Now you can't probably see, but I was using um, a paint that was called Dragon Glaze, which is a clear glaze, but it's got that um, it's got that gl uh, glittery, not even glittery. It's um, it's a this one. I mean, you look at it, well, I got one on black, I'll have that one out in a minute, but I'm curious to see now what happens if I just, let's see, this is what I don't know what will happen, if that will, um, just kind of be putting some of this ink now over the glaze. And then I want to take and rub it with the rub it with a paper towel and see what it does, which it is kind of cool. If you can see it, that the glaze kind of works like a resist. Let 
that that is kind of neat. That is really neat. Because now this is kind of almost a a wipe off sheet, you know. And so but I have a lot of the re the the glaze on here and it is working like a resist. And so right there in that area, see how you can see how that is. See that? Can you see that? How it works like that resist. Now, when you look at this whole page, you might say, well, no, I don't know if I like that. But then if you if you um, don't look at the whole page, look at a part of the page and you think, oh, yeah, this part is really cool. And this might be cut off right here, just this area to use as a mat on a card or something. And so if the whole page doesn't look good to you, then don't give up on it because it's probably going to be see how when I move that with the light you can see where that glaze is and so parts of this paper or if I was to die cut or something in that paper that would be good and here's where I was still on the um, on the orange and the teal and so I'm going to On this one, I'm going to use this stamp again and add to the white space and see what happens there. And, and just to fill in the white, that's what I'm doing. Um, I thought about, you know, maybe spraying, which I still may, um, I, so I usually get into different, um, different, um, you know, modes, different modes, and I, um, and I, let's see if I use this, hmm. And I, um, like, I'll do, probably do painty papers for all week, you know, I'll just get a bunch of them done up. Well, by then I'm all done with them. I, and I don't touch painty papers then for, or I don't make them for a long time until I run out. And then I say, oh, i got to make some more painty papers. And then I'll start and I'll say, oh, this is so much fun. And then I make enough painty papers for an army. I don't know what the army would do with my painty papers, but I do do plenty. And then and then and then I switch to something else. I had on um, one of my live streams recently I was I was streaming and, and one of the viewers she says, Don't you do crafts anymore? And I said, Well well yes, I do and she goes, well, all I see is, is Zen Tangle. So I thought maybe you didn't do crafts anymore. And no, I I am doing a lot of Zen Tangle lately because it's kind of, it's not new to me, but I've done, because I've done it before, but it just it come back to me when I was watching Beth. Beth Schuler was doing some doodling and I thought, Gosh, I remember doing doodling like that and Zen tangles and stuff, and I haven't done them in ages. And so I thought, well, it's time I try them again. And so I did. I just started doing them again, and um, I'm just hooked on them. I am hooked. And I am hooked by hooking by schnook, and I'm just doing them again. And so now this one here has got more of a... Uh, selection of colors in there and I think I want to go with the light blue around that one too. I like the light blue and um, let's see let me see how I'll do that. How will I do that? I gotta get myself some more for this thing. 
I do think I have some more, though. Probably do. So what if I just take this? Now, see, I've got yellow on this punchinella already. So then when I run the blue over it, I'm getting yellow and blue makes green. And so but I'm going to just kind of, I like to use these brushes. These are a brush that I get from the hardware store. And um, they're for painting like edges and stuff on your woodwork. And, oh, the last ones I got I ordered from Amazon, though. And I do have them on my link, but um, on my Amazon affiliate link, if you look for them. But I, I use different things as, you know, daubers. Like, I use this, and I use the little makeup sponge things. I use different things, but I do like... Um, to use these brushes because they're just gently going over that the punchinella. If you need punchinella, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and say punchinella please and I'll send you some because that is how I have found. You know, I've had people request things and I say oh yeah I'll get that to you and then I don't get that to you but um, I have punchinella I got plenty and if you need some send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and I'll send you some punchinella and my address is always under my videos so you know where to send your envelope and then you will that way you're guaranteed to get your punchinella that I promise I promise a lot of people and never never come through with my promise. So, but stamped envelope, self-addressed stamped envelope, and just write me a little note that you'd like some punchinella, and I will get that to you. Then I'd probably put a couple other things in your envelope to make sure that I get my full ounce or two in there. Of maybe I would put in some printouts or something as well. That's how I work. And I find out, you know, you know, I try to send out happy mail. And I do. I send out I send out quite a bit, but I can't send out big things or and then I wonder, well, what would people really want? And I have found that if I ask you to tell me what you want, um and send me that envelope. Send me a self addressed envelope with your note of what you would like and what you see that I have I have to offer and um, you just give me a little note and I will put that and maybe other stuff in your envelope maybe stuff you don't need but and mostly printouts is what I put in now see I like this with that just that um, may putting that background like that with the using the punchinella as a stencil and I love that background. I just think that just took that whole page and finished it. And it looks really nice. And here, um, I'm going to do that same way. I'm liking this blue. I'm liking, I'm liking using the blue. I think that is really pretty. Um, I'm going to be doing more videos of just little ideas, just little ideas, not so much finished projects. I'm going to continue to do my um, Zentangle inspired art of ideas, not always finished projects. I won't always have finished projects because um, there's always something new I want to try. And so sometimes I start trying something new and I don't complete it but I try it and so and so I'm thinking that if I do do a video now and again of something I'm trying maybe I won't finish it but maybe somebody else will say oh I want to try that too and maybe the somebody else will finish it but I oh my goodness when 
when I I don't get that many um, views or comments on my um, on my on my Zen tangles, you know, and um, but that does not that does not um, that doesn't bother me. That's okay because then I look on my Scrap and Lizzie Unicorn page and I see so many people that are posting images that they've done and so I know that people watch and not necessarily comment and I see these pictures I see these um, um, pictures that are posted and I'm just amazed I'm just amazed and it just makes me feel so good that people are getting some ideas now this one here is more of a um, this one is what I would call kind of sloppy but it, it does not need to stay sloppy. So I think what I'm going to take is, I think I'm going to take, that's the cat. I want to get, I think I'm going to do something bright. Here, this one's called Fire Brick. And so I'm going to, what do I got on here? Let's see. I'm just going to fire brick some color in here. Put some fire brick color in here. And I'm going to use this stamp to get that done. And, and that is actually, in my opinion, really making these other colors look much better by adding a little bit of color. Am I throwing on the floor? Keep knocking this stuff on the floor. Good thing we have a floor. So this is amazing. Now see? Now I just took that page that actually kind of didn't look like it was much and now it is a painty paper that I love by just adding that little bit of stamping with a brighter color. And so that made that really pretty. Now this one here, I've got some gold and some teal. And I think that one too is going to need some fired brick. But what am I going to do? I'm, I'm going to go back with my, my punchinella. And I'm going to use the fired brick. here okay all right now and I am gonna polka dot that thing I just love the I just I just love polka dots I just love dots in so many things I just love to put dots on things and um Sometimes I can completely finish a um, a picture I'm drawing or a, a um, zentangle or something, and and then I might be done, and then I think, no, it needs dots, and so then I add dots here and there, and I love them. I love them. Even when I was young, we used it. Would there was a time when my my mother made a lot of our clothing and she was she loved dotted swiss the fabric and um she would make things out of the dotted swiss and i loved them i just loved the dotted swiss it just was so pretty and so i've always loved just little polka dots I'm going to be doing another video uh, pretty soon. My granddaughter is selling. She started her new little home-based, I guess it's like the old Tupperware parties, but it's fingernails, Color Street fingernails. So I ordered a set from her. Of course, a grandmother would do that for her grandmother. And, but it's like not nails. It's the nail polish. And so I'm letting my nails grow out. I usually clip them 
but my nails grow so fast and I'm letting them grow out because this what she's and what she's sending me a set and it's I think she's sending me the Halloween purples I think I'm not sure with the cats on them but they're like a peel and stick nail polish and it costs like twelve dollars for a set of nails but now my daughter has already put some on her nails and she puts her hands through a lot and her nails are still just beautiful so I'm looking forward to getting them but I when I get them I'm gonna do um, when they come in the mail I'm gonna take them and put them in put them on in a video I gotta dry off. I'm freezing. you're freezing to death poor thing you're sitting right in front of the air conditioner I gotta, I'll, I'll be back to that okay all right now this one is black so I'm not gonna do anything with that one. Oh, this one I only put one little piece on there but yeah I'm gonna do a video of myself putting my nails on and then we're going to run a test on them to see how long they stay because I do know a lot of 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 I'm gonna do them on the video because I knew a, a lot of people who do videos like to try to keep their nails looking halfway decent and I used to have them done a friend was doing my nails regular but she doesn't do the nails anymore because she's working hard or hardly working I don't know why but um I don't see her regular like I did and um and so if these nails because I'm thinking twelve dollars for a set of nails some are 13 and some are 11 but I say 12 but you know the more fancy ones but they have glittery ones and all but if they last two weeks $12 is a lot better than spending $30 at the nail salon. And so, and that, and that kind of fits in with the artsy thing too, I do believe. Okay, what do I want to do on here? I want to, um, let's see, maybe I want to, what do I have here? Oh, I got this here stamp. Let me see. Let me just kind of put some different stamps around. Just and you know, like this is a stamp of a like a little flower kind of thing with a stem. But I use the stem as a handle, and just put some of these here and there. Okay, so let's just do some of those here and there. And so this dendritic print, print will still be the focal point, but, and then what is this one? I don't even know what it is. Spots. And spots. It's all curled up, though. That one would work better if I had it on a block. Okay, um. Yeah, so we're, we're not going to do that. Um, oh, goodness, the fan is pulling my hair into my mouth. Now, let me see if I take a different color. Um, lid, 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 lid. And then, so now if I take the blue. And do some of that in here. Let's see. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting them fingernails, fingernail polish. It's like nothing I've ever. It's not like fake nails. If you put it over your your actual nails. And so I'm looking forward to trying them. I'm noticing a lot more on the videos that I watch where ladies are wearing dress up your hands for your <laughs> uh, pretty rings. I don't have a lot of rings. I, I, this one here says mom on it. I've, and I used to wear that on my middle finger. 
that one I used to wear. On, my daughter got me that, and I always wear it on my middle finger all the time. Now I need a bracelet for my middle finger. Every once in a while, the swelling goes way down, but but um, yeah, I've kind of grown into a size twelve wedding band. I had to. Yeah, it's like weird. They don't even make size well in ladies' jewelry. But I got these big old hands, but they're mine. They work still. The gout will do that to you. This is, I got this gout thing going on. And arthritis. But just, you got to figure, you know, once you're, once you're of an age of, 71 years old then well you pretty much expect anything so uh, it doesn't bother me as long as I'm still able to work the one thing I use is this here it's called um, Tiger Balm I use it for like a hand cream I just rub that all on my hands my hands bend real good that way. Get the bendability back into them. And so that's what we got to do sometimes. Just keep keep on going. Well, see, I did a lot of stamping on that page. I just still have the center of the dendritic printing right there. The focal point. I like that. Here's another one with a lot of color. Oh, I like that purple. Now I wonder if I find a I'm getting a pile of stuff here. My drawer right here has got my inks in it. And do I have a purple? It seems like everything that I have is kind of... I should have purple. Because purple is like my... Um, well, this is real light. This pink spun sugar. So I think I have purple, but in a different brand. Let me see if I have it down here somewhere. In my, I'm digging in my drawer. I got my inks right in a drawer right here at my, in my knees. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I have. Maybe, maybe I don't have purple. Well, I thought I had purple. I thought I had purple, but I, no, I'm one weird one. I shouldn't be allowed to think sometimes. Maybe I like that pickled raspberry and then the sponge sugar. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I use my, <clears throat> let me see if I can wipe off my, my, um, get some of this color off of my punchinella. Get a wet wipey here. And get some of that color off of there so I can put new color on it. And um, let's see. Okay, now, see, this is what I always feel like is reason that I can't go on without really much of a plan is because I just feel like who would want to listen? Is that, I still am getting kind of odd color in there. But I'm getting speckles, nonetheless. My spots. Nonetheless, I'm getting spots. I do love the spots. I'm using the spun sugar. That's not showing up like spun sugar, though. It's more, more... Okay, yeah, it's coming 
Yeah, so if you send me an envelope, I'll send you more than one piece. Where did I got my... Oh, it's way up there. I don't feel like standing up and reaching. Okay, let me put cover that one up. And let me get this one here, which is the pickled... Picked... Not pickled, Elizabeth. Picked raspberry. Let's see what that one does. Oh, that's more pinky. Yeah, I like that better. Spun sugar wasn't working out, but it might not be the spun sugar. It might be the brush, or it might be the color that's already on my punchinella. Yeah, so if you send me um, that envelope, I'll send you like three pieces so that you can switch them around for different colors. And although you can wa you use it and watch it. What this stuff is, is sequin waste. So in the sequin companies where they make the sequins, this is what they cut them out of. But then they learned that, oh my goodness, we can sell the waste and make a mint off of it. And so that's what they do. And now the ones that I have, I have had, the functional I have, I have had for quite some time before it got so famous. And so I've got quite a bit enough to share. And so, but I just love what it gives you. I just love the effect. I love the effect. See there now how that worked? That's pretty. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? The, um, I can see the dendritic prints, but then it's hard to see the what I put in the background. And this one too is a lot of um, a lot of color. And so I'm going to go with a lot more color. And just, you know, I have no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing here. No rhyme or reason. I'm just filling my paper. Just getting the all the white areas after my dendritic dendritic printing. I sure hope I'm saying that right. I guess I should look it up and not really count on my memory. Oh, see, I gotta get a lot of little spots on this one. This is like a spotted yumminess. I like that. So there, that really fixed up that one. And so it's like now instead of just the dendritic prints on a white background, it almost looks like I've got the polka dotted background with the um, dendritic prints on top of it. Now this one here, I did, um, uh, for some reason, I only did one little one little bit of something on it. One little bit of something. And so, what do I want to do? I just, maybe I've just been going on this too long now. And now um, my imagination has left me. My imagination has left me now. See there? What did I do there? I don't know. Don't know what I did there. But then maybe I'll take this blue. Let's wipe this pink off of this. Let's take the blue. Broken china. Broken china. But that is almost showing up exactly like the um, same teal. But that could be the mixture of what might be already on them. That kind of looks neat, though, where the colors almost match. And then, how about these peacock feathers? That's what that says. That color calls itself peacock feathers. 
No one that looks almost the same. Okay, that looks almost the same. So let's go with some of this here spiced marmalade. Let's put some of that over there too. Okay, are you getting bored with this yet? Gosh, you know you could just do a whole page of just stamping with nothing else in it. Yeah, that spiced marmalade over here. And let's go with this fossilized amber. Fossilized amber. Where do they come up with these names? Pretty cool. Pretty cool names. Yeah. So now look at that page, what has happened to that. And there all I had was some four spots in there. But now, as you can see, I've got a very nice painted paper. This one here, I just thought, this is amazing. This one here, look at this. This here. I just keep looking at that and keep moving it. This is that um, Dragon Glaze. And it is so beautiful, done on the black. I'm not going to do anything to this because that's too precious right now. I'm almost done through my whole stack. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't go through my whole stack. Because once you've seen one, I guess you've seen them all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I should know more than I know. This is fun. It's just fun. And it's just my idea of doing more of my playtime on video rather than just sit. Because, you know, sometimes I'll just sit here and I'll just turn on a video to watch. And then I do this and while I'm watching another video. And I thought, well, hmm, maybe I could just make a video. Maybe there is something that I do that will give somebody else inspiration to take what I'm doing and run with it and do some more on your own and make it go even further. And always, I, I read the um, comments and I um, learn from your comments. And when you give me comments and give me ideas of how I can go further with these... Um, prints or whatever I'm doing or something I can add to something that I'm showing you, then um, I, 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 I get so inspired. I just, I just love it. I just love it. I just love learning new things. I love learning new things. And boy, when we put our heads together with our ideas and then we have you know, the new things come to mind, you know, because just like um, on my last couple of videos, there's, I get, I get so much, I get, um, I get so much inspiration from your comments. Like, and I love it when you leave comments and say, I wonder what would happen if you added this or that or maybe instead of doing it the way you did it, do it just this way and wonder what would happen, you know? And then I read them and I think, ooh, I wonder what would happen. And so then, um, so then reading those comments give me more inspiration. And then I learn from that and then I can make a new video and say, this is what I learned from you. And look at that. I think that is really pretty and, and different than a lot of the, um, different than a lot of the, the, um, the painty papers that I've used already. And these are different. I love, look at, I just love how the dendritic 
um, prints give that veining look. Like, it's like you're looking into somebody's brain. Yeah. And all them squiggles and wiggles, I love it. And so, just colorful, just so colorful. And I can see folding an envelope out of this, how this would make a pretty envelope. And, and then, like, if you just take, you know, you might say, oh, well, an envelope, how can you, you know, then how could you write an address on there? Well, you would just stick a post-it note or something and glue it on there with the address. Now, this is gold. Here is some gold in them of our heels. And, um, I have this stamp just sitting here, too, that I meant to go bring out into my stamp box. How about if I just use that stamp? Because all that is is just scribbles. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Almost looks like a neutron moving on there. Scientific. I might make more videos today, too. Depends on what I actually do today. You don't want to see me a video washing clothes, but... Oh, actually, I think the hubster is doing that anyway. He seems to keep up with the wash better than I do. So, I think I gotta send right out a happy mail. Do you know what my new thing is? What I've decided. This is what I've decided. I don't remember birthdays. And I feel bad that I don't remember birthdays. I feel bad that um, I think of birthdays about two weeks after. I go, oh my gosh, I missed so and so's birthday. And um, then I feel bad. So I decided I'm just gonna pick everybody a birthday. And I'll pick, I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm going to be doing, this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be, you might get a, a birthday card from me six months before or after your birthday. Three months before, three months after. I'm going to just say happy birthday to you. I think we'll send out a couple birthday cards today. And, and it doesn't have to be your birthday. And I'm just going to say happy birthday. Because I've decided on... Um, because whatever your birthday is, I say happy birthday to you today because it's, I'm getting, I'm getting old. And so if I, if I figure, well, on their next birthday, I will just send, be sure. But what if I don't live till then? What if the aliens come and abduct me or something before your next birthday? Then I will have, my plans will not come into fruitation. So, I decided, my thing is, I'm just going to send out birthday cards whenever I feel like it. So, if you get a birthday card in August, and your birthday isn't until March. Oh, wait, look at that. Do you see that? I did the blue and the red around there. With that stamp. Holy smack of noise. I stole that word from Carehart. She invented it. But I stole it. Now this one only had the gold. So I'm going to do the same thing on this as ding notification. Oh, look at there. I, I have been on here an hour doing this. Oh, I, I better let you guys go. I didn't realize I'd been on here an hour. Yeah, I gotta go sit out there with Hubster anyway. Otherwise, if I stay in here too much, he did come and try and sit in here with me, but he said it's too cold in here. Because I, I, yeah, I get cold. I mean, I get hot. I'm, I'm, and I keep my room here cold. My air conditioner was broke for a while, but he fixed it. He shouldn't have fixed it. But he fixed it. Actually, it wasn't broke. It just was clogged up so it didn't leak out the window instead of in the window. Ooh, look at this with the orange. The orange and the blue. Boy, you know what? I might just do some 
painty papers with just stamps. I might do that. Just stamp up painty papers. It's good exercise too. See, I'm getting arm exercises here. So when my I have a doctor's appointment on Monday, so he'll say, "Are you exercising?" I can say, "Oh yes, absolutely, positively, I'm exercising." Because this is it right here. Look at that. I like this. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let myself let you go because it's an hour now. That is pretty. See? Do you see that? That's pretty. I'm holding it way up there. And then this one. That is pretty. See? Now that tape is stuck to my arm. So I am getting me a supply of painty papers. A good supply. This is my black one. Love that. This is all I've done this morning. This is pretty. Oh, that was just nothing. And that was just the Punchinella. My address is underneath the, the video. So if you need some Punchinella, like I said, just send me a S-A-S-E, self-addressed stamped envelope, and I will send you some Punchinella. Just write Punchinella on there so I know what you want. Don't just send me an envelope or you don't know what you're going to get back. You just send me an envelope without telling me what you want. There's no telling what I'll put in the envelope. And so, that's the one I did with the resist kind of thing. Can't lift my arm up there anymore. But anyway, we did all of these. We did all of these. It took an hour of my life. This is a well spent hour of my life. I do love this stamp right here. I wasn't planning to use that one, but it's here. So it, I just did. So, hi. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Oh. Can you see me now? Okay, wait a minute. I'll put you back down here. Wait a minute. There's some legs. Why did I move that camera? Okay, never mind. Okay, so I'll read you something here. Get your mind off of other things from my book, Belief. And um, let's see. Okay. Believe that the best is yet to be. Do not let your fire go out. Spark by ir Do not let your fire go out. Spark by irreplaceable spark in the hopeless swamps of the approximate, the not quite, the not yet, the not at all. Do not let the hero in your soul perish in lonely frustration for the life you deserved but have never been able to reach. Check your road and the nature of your battle. The world you desire can be won. It exists. It is real. It is possible. It is yours. And that is best. Believe that the best is yet to be. And that was written by Anne Rand. Her name, A-Y-N. And I'm sure that is Anne. I like how that's spelled. Anne Rand. And so I ask God to watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless. Let me see here if I can find the off button. Oh, there it is.